alrighty so here we go and with our last match we have pretty awful hand that is going to get mulliganed and a great hand uh... Serum visions fatal push and then supreme verdict um, can't cast supreme verdict uh... it's kind of awkward on our mana having two islands but still perfectly acceptable <clears throat> and logic knot um, I decided to put on top since um, our hand is good against creature decks uh, and we're going to be wanting to potentially logic knot on turn two in a lot of matchups even though we're on the draw it's definitely a close decision could have could have bottomed it but happy to just take the logic knot and yeah, kind of, kind of as a hedge, because like, turn one land war elves we have supreme verdict for. So, even though we wouldn't really want the logic knot anymore, it's still fine to have. So, have the ability to cast supreme verdict now. So we don't really need the land, and snapcaster is going to be good. So keep snap, bottom land and our opponent visionaries and mystics so not exactly the juiciest board for supreme verdict so far but I mean supreme verdicts always gonna be amazing against elves so if our opponent leaves up collected company we're going to not be cracking this end of turn certainly uh, they just have elvish visionary though which we can't even logic knot and probably wouldn't be all that interested in doing and another elvish visionary um, we, we're just gonna let that happen too because it would it would be a pain an actual pain to logic knot it instead we'd rather get a tapped land uh, and we just get held fountain so we can keep up logic knot and then search for a black and a white source this next turn because we aren't going to be uh, fatal pushing most likely this turn anyways since we're going to be supreming very soon alright so our opponent uh, caverns on elf so suddenly logic knot is looking a lot less appealing and we also even have mana leak and then they attack and pass the turn so this almost certainly signals collected company they have four cards in hand didn't do anything so ideally we can bait them into casting collected company right now uh, so we are gonna take the two there and then fatal push the land of war elves which is quite nice because it gets our opponent to collected company now, we could obviously just let this resolve um, and then wrath away whatever opponent gets, but if they get, say, uh, two shamans of the pack, we're just dead. They're, if they get Elvish Visionary, even though they are almost out of Elvish Visionaries, they get a free card draw, and this mana leak has never looked worse since we have a Logic Knot backup, so we're definitely just mana leaking that and then going ahead and preming and looking to be in a pretty good spot and there's a shaman of the pack not particularly exciting for our opponent because it is in fact uh, by itself alright so we draw another supreme verdict we just wanna cycle our snapcaster mage and, f and hit some of our good spells like Elspeth or Sphinx's Revelation if possible or more card draw more card advantage in the snapcaster that we take and our opponent is Xeris so downside to Supreme Verdict is it al allows for creatures to be regenerated through it our opponent attacks in and we go ahead and block even even though our opponent can regenerate the shaman of the pack this will open the door for supreme verdict quite nicely so our opponent does in fact regenerate and we do in fact get to supreme verdict for a nice little bit of value there 
and suddenly we're looking to be in an amazing spot, since thankfully our opponent didn't really have collected company when when the uh, door was open. And just Court of Calling for one isn't really a huge issue. There's not really anything good to get Court of Calling for one, and Nettle Sentinel is not that threatening. So we go ahead and Snapcaster Mage, and our opponent just packs it in. Um, would have been able to clear the board, had up Logic Knot for the rest of the game. So sideboarding against Elves. Um, so you're going to want to... We saw Court of Calling, so we definitely want Dispel. Um, definitely want Supreme Verdict. And then everything else... Oh, obviously want the engineered explosives great against elves and then everything else is kind of maybes um, as for sideboarding out uh, can get rid of mana leaks uh, don't really want logic knot although do want it in the deck uh, so definitely considering signing out logic knot considering Elspeth on the draw even though it's great against elves, um, it's not, it's kind of slow. Uh, and and we can easily just win the game with Supreme Verdicts, so Elspeth might just be a little bit too slow. Um, cryptics are actually great because tapping down our opponent's creatures is, and and digging for supreme verdict is is incredibly powerful so probably something like this we can take out jeez the cards do not want to stay in the deck um and then can bring in these is pretty straightforward like blessed alliance does not do all that much just Sacking one creature is is not what we want to be doing. So yeah. All right. So yeah, elves is a pretty good matchup for Esper since we have so so much interaction, so much removal, so many supreme verdicts. So we're feeling pretty good about the matchup in general. And on the draw, we have a great hand, explosives. Explosive's looking real good, although our opponent does have a very fast start here, and Lifecrafter's Bestiary. Bestiary. Well, that seems like the best, and we are completely screwed now. <laughs> so, bottom of land, keep the Sphinx's revelation. Suddenly our hand isn't looking so good against this card that we have no real good answers to. I mean, we do have explosives, but that's just so slow. And and look at how juicy an explosives for one is as well. So our opponent is just going nuts with bestiary. And another juicy three, but I think we just have to go for an explosives on one here. We don't really have uh, that much time. And we just have to hope our opponent sort of starts fizzling out by the time we can get our own stuff started, which is, is going to be hard to happen. Well, they didn't have that much that turn, and now we get to keep up Cryptic Command. Oh, they did have Collected Company, though. So they're playing around Wrath, but this did play into Cryptic Command. So we can't really bounce anything profitably. Like bouncing Elvish Archdruid isn't even that good. It just, I mean, gives our opponent a card draw. And this game is uh, less about tempo now and more about us surviving until we get something amazing online. Although we are still dying as our opponent is drawing all these cards, which is not good. So our opponent has to be a little bit afraid of Supreme Verdict. Like, if we had Supreme Verdict here, we would actually be in a pretty amazing spot. Unfortunately, we do not. Oh, spoke too soon. So, keep the path. Happy to have cheap interaction, even though 
our opponent still draws a card off every creature because we have Sphinx's Revelation, which can beat a bestiary. And suddenly we're looking like we're winning uh, again because our Sphinx's Revelation should pull us ahead. And Gaddock Teague would be an issue, but we have plenty of removal at the moment. And opponent is going to continue drawing cards. And we go ahead and path after they keep a card on top with the scry, so they have to uh, shuffle that away, um, which is a nice bit of advantage for us. Unfortunately, they still have gas. So Elvish Archdruid, and we go ahead and path because next turn we're going to be Sphinxes Revelating. Uh, which looks to be good. I mean, Sphinx's Rev for four is good. I mean, our opponent has drawn <laughs> way more than that in extra cards this game, but we've gotten, like, five for ones with Supreme Verdict. And Shaman of the Pack definitely speeds up the clock. Not good for us. And Stain the Mind. So, so we were still thinking we were fine. I mean, we had Supreme Verdict to, to just keep bailing us out. And and we're at the point where we're reaching critical mass on our Sphinx's Revelation. But Stay in the Mind is going to definitely disrupt our plan. So our opponent does name Supreme Verdict, which certainly is an issue because now we don't have an efficient way to clear even up even just this board up and realistically our um, revelation wasn't even that amazing I mean if if we had supreme verdict we could have just cleared this all which would have been great And now we're just dying to Shaman of the Pack that we cannot counter. And opponents stain the mines again, which we kind of have to counter, or else our our deck will be too thin to th too thin to win. And we kind of just have to chump, and we're at one, so we're. Hoping to draw Sphinx's Revelation or something, but not really able to quite get there and just die. We, we had Snapcaster on top, but couldn't actually Snapcaster Cryptic Command to even buy us another turn, so we just died. Alright, so now that we know we're up against Bestiary, we definitely want to keep in like Elspeth and. Um, even like negate becomes more valuable because uh, we want to definitely um, stop the bestiary if at, at all possible so dispel and neg dispel negate looks a bit better than dispel now uh, than it did previously and um like logic knot looks a little more appealing and like think twice and esper charm get a bit worse so we want we want to basically cast elspeth and win that way if we're getting bestiaried and good hand on the play i mean logic knot cryptic command should should be able to do work unless we're facing down like cavern and put two cards on top one was path I think the other was Snapcaster and leave up Logic Knot. Um, so do get to just Logic Knot the Shaman, which is pretty good. Thankfully, there's no Cavern. Cavern would have been a bit of an issue here. And oh, it was a it was another Cryptic, which. Um, is also pretty good, although this this turn is going to be weak before we start casting cryptics like crazy. And another cryptic. So 
Not great against Stay in the Mind, <laughs> although our opponent will not be able to cast it, hopefully. So definitely a nice little uh, upkeep tap here. Our opponent is able to collect in company if they so desire, but that is a bit risky against Wrath if we did have it. And Gaddock Teague. So Path, Gaddock Teague, Play Wrath is the safe play. Um, I think it's the correct play and what I should have done. Unfortunately, I went a little bit insane with greed and did not make the correct play here. Uh, I think that would have basically just won the game had I cast Supreme Verdict there. Just because our opponent was low on land and, and we have two cryptic commands would have taken them a while to rebuild. Um... So our opponent, Shamans of the uh, pack here. Uh, we we also probably should have just tapped on upkeep again. We're, we're getting way too greedy. And also letting that resolve is not fantastic. And then letting our opponent attack is also not fantastic. I think we were afraid of bestiary as well. But we just took way too much damage for no reason. Even though this Supreme Verdict is rather juicy, uh, that was just not an acceptable amount of damage to be taking for no reason. And now our opponent gets to resolve Bestiary, and now we are in a bit of a pickle. So hit Elspeth, though. So kind of bailed out. Bottom the Fatal Push, keep the Elspeth, and leave up Cryptic Command to hopefully carry us to victory here. Alright, so we cryptic the shaman and I mean resolving Elspeth on an empty board against elves, how could we possibly ever lose? Well, Bestiary is a good card, I will say that. So Drawing cards, Heritage Druid, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Um, there, I probably should have considered Fatal Pushing. The, the issue being that we don't have a Swamp in our deck, so we would have taken 3 damage. And now our opponent just went insane with <laughs> card draw and mana. And even collected company. And now if they hit Shaman of the Pack, we're just dead. Although they have one shaman left because they have been shamaning, shamaning us all day. And suddenly our Elspeth is not looking good enough. Our opponent just played that all in one turn, so glimpse of nature much. We do have Cryptic though to buy us time. Alright, so Shaman of the Pack um, from our opponent would, of course, kill us. Thankfully, they didn't draw Cavern of Souls this game, otherwise we would be long dead. Uh, I decide to Fatal Push Heritage Druid there. I probably should have either not done that and done it on an Elite, or... Um, done that earlier. So, we counter that and cycle may have been correct to tap this turn probably was because this is actually uh, a lot of damage and dealt with our board we will be able to tap though now and our Elspeth is uh, on 7 although the alt is not looking particularly appealing at the moment And I go ahead and tap bounce. Finally, we have a chance to actually get rid of the bestiary by uh, logic nodding it, which would be great, although our opponent has Iziri that we have to deal with now, which is, of course, an issue. And there's the bestiary, which we can again deal with Although, we go down to 1 to mana leak it. So, we are at 1. 
on the plus side, all the shamans of the pack are, are gone. The downside is our Elspeth is not enough to deal with this. All right, so we top deck Fatal Push there, which is perfect because it allows us to actually get some trades in. And now our Elspeth is working at a profit. Best Dairy's gone, and our opponent drives Selfless Spirit. Well, can't block that with Elspeth tokens. We're at one. And top deck engine explosives for the save. Alright, so our opponent's able to sacrifice selfless spirit. Save the Dwine's Elite. Of course, at this point, um, we are starting to snowball enough of a win. And draw another explosives. Not bad. And... Explosives for one, blow up the Nettle Sentinel. We're able to attack our opponent down to 12. They draw Heritage Druid and we ult Elspeth for exactly lethal. So, not the greatest played game on my side, but very close and very exciting because of the mistakes I made. And Bestiary doing very good work against the control decks the control matchup very tight game Elspeth's still on 3 loyalty after ulting just barely got there